Welcome to the Station Bakery. It is morning time and I am up trying to figure out what we're going to feed the girls for breakfast. I don't have any food. Like, we have no grab and go food. I can make like oatmeal or something for them, but we need grab and go because this needs to be quick so we can get them in the car. We just ordered groceries and it won't be here until later today. So we're going to have to stop in to get us some food so the girls can have some kind of breakfast before they start their day. Let's get them ready and get in the car and go grab their food. Then we'll come back and start our day. Oh, good morning. Good morning, little one. One of them just came downstairs. They're dressed and ready and she's looking for her breakfast and mommy has no breakfast for her. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. There's no um, breakfast this morning. We have to get in the car and get some breakfast, okay? You still sleepy? Are you ready to go to school? No. Chipley's Donuts is the best you ever get the chance to be in a place where there's Chipley's, you gotta stop. So I got a ham and cheese kolache, fresh hot glazed donuts, and this literally is like the best part. Got them a pack of donut holes, and that's breakfast for today. Just got back in from dropping the girls off. The groceries have just been dropped off. Now our girls can have a grab and go breakfast for when they go to school. I still have one more grocery order that's coming, then... I'm gonna start work. I'm going to toss these cakes and meet these back in like, what, January, like four months ago. So it is time for these to go in the trash. I thought that I was going to use these as dummy cakes, but they've just been sitting here. Look at that, that's, it's time to go. You're finally happy to hear that it's about to go? Yes, I've been waiting for this to go for a long time. <laughs> there it goes. Thank you for putting up with me mm -hmm. <laughs> and my cake hoarding hopes and desires. Bye, bye cakes. First time on the video seeing cake. So I actually took them out of the trash bags. That's good structure. Make sure that you know how to structure your cakes and things to where, you know, you can pick it up sideways and it's not gonna fall off. If you can't do that with your cake, you're not doing something right. <laughs> oh, look at how nicely that cuts. Oh, I'm good at this, I'm good. Who liked the first slice? Look, oh, that was so fun to do. Here we go. Oh, look at that cake, y'all, look at it. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful slice of cake. You would never know that this is like months old. <laughs> That's good cake. That's good cake. This is how you cut a cake. This edge, like so. Look at that cake, y'all, ooh. And then he slices, somebody likes, you know, that. This is so fun and so satisfying to me, y'all. Look at that. Now, what do y'all say? Is this one serving? If you're rocking with me and if I'm serving you, I'm giving you this. This is one serving for me. This is what I'm gonna give you. But most people, let's see, would you cut it again like this? Yeah, let's do, I think that looks prettier versus cutting it in half like that. Cut it in half, and in half, and now you have four servings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I would say 20. You get 20 servings out of that five inch cake. So I know you might have a lot of questions. So let me go and answer a couple of those. So first of all, I made this cake for a cake decorating class that I actually partnered with Creative Fabrica to do. You can still go and catch that tutorial. I will link it in the description below for you. Yeah, but I did it for that class. So it's just been sitting for some time. And then this cake I did for a partnership with Cricut. Thought that I was gonna reuse them, but of course I have not. So if you're interested in those, check out my TikTok. And I also have the cake decorating class linked in the description below. 
So a five inch, you can get 20 servings out of a five inch. That's awesome. So no, a lot of people, they're like, oh, 20 servings for an eight inch. If it's only like two layers, then I can see that. But if you have four layers, like I make tall cakes and they're usually, they're three to six layers high. So you're going to get more servings out of my cakes because of that. So that's cool. Look at all that cake. You can serve a party of a hundred. I have one question for you. Is it cake? <laughs> I had to. Have y'all seen that show? I really like the concept of that show. I think it's so cool. I don't want to say too much about it just in case you haven't seen it. But if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's on Netflix. <laughs> so go watch it on Netflix. It is such a good show. It is such a different take on your typical cake decorating show. So I like it. I'm ready for season two. I have a question for you. Is it cake? <laughs> Let's get down to business. I've wasted, what, an hour of time maybe? But I mean, it's not really wasted because, you know, content. This is what I got from Walmart. I got like a lot of these because I'm going to be making some custom treats, which is important because that is what I plan to work on today. Today, I am going to be designing the packaging for these custom treats. So I have some cheeses, some airheads, some fruit snacks, and some Capri Suns and different stuff like that. But I'll be making custom packaging for, for a birthday party next week. That is what is on our agenda today to get those designed. Let's get to actual work. Anybody else have an office space but doesn't use it? We have Beauty and the Beast and we have The Little Mermaid. I know it's like the weekend of princesses, right? Where I create my designs, it's in Canva. Let me know if y'all are interested in getting my templates to make your own custom treats. We are in Canva. I'll start off with the chip back template and then I will work from there. So this is my chip back template. Those are so cute, aren't they so cute? Oh my goodness, like I love making these so much. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with what custom treats are, is basically where you create a custom packaging for specific treats like chips and Rice Krispies, Airheads, different kinds of candy and things like that. And what makes these so great is that you're able to customize a very simple treat that you would normally have at a party and make it fit the theme of whatever um, the theme of the celebration is going to be. This is a great upsell for your customers who are already placing cake orders with you because more than likely they're going to have some form of a goodie bag for their party. So why not use you to create custom packaging to match the theme of the cake that they're purchasing from you. You can have one basic template like mine and then just switch it out depending on the theme. I just spent an hour decorating the chip bag for these custom treats. I love them so much. I think they're so, so cute. And I can't wait to print these out and just see them physically in my hand. Now I'm going to take that same design and I am going to transfer it over to make custom packaging for the Capri Suns, for the Rice Krispies. I just took some time really quickly to check in on social media to see what's going on there. You know, we always got to keep up and see what's going on on social media. Today, I did not release a video. When we're in the space of social media and when things are on the up and up we kind of want to capitalize on that but sometimes you know i mean life just happens right i also didn't post on tiktok i didn't post on pinterest i didn't post on instagram i haven't posted anywhere today i just have to keep my mind focused on what it is that i'm actually trying to do i'm just really just taking it at my own pace so i can learn and try to be as successful as possible in the realm that i want to be and i'm going to utilize my time wisely and get back to designing these custom treats. I have two more designs that I need to do, but I am happy that I have been able to complete at least three of those. I have been working nonstop, except for that little micro break in between just to check to see how my social media was doing. It is currently 1.10 and I am going to take some time for myself. But really quick, let me just show you what I created. So these are the Capri Sun designs. So cute. The Rice Krispie Treat designs. Here are the chip bags. So tell me, what do y'all think about those? How did I do? If you were like a template, I'll hook y'all up or whatever, but yeah.
Thank you. Of course you don't like the crust, baby. Never did I ever think I would be this parent. I never heard this before in my life. But as long as they eat and they're happy. It is almost four o'clock right now. I am going to continue working on um, some more goodies for this party. My designs were approved by our household designer, <laughs> which is my husband. Um, he is a designer. And so he has approved my designs. So we're gonna continue moving forward. Okay, so this one is actually gonna be pretty cool. And now let's see the finished product. It's a coloring book. How cool. And we are done for the day it's time to be a person it's time to be a person meaning it is time to enjoy the evening the work day is done thank y'all so much for hanging out with me <laughs> i'll see y'all in the next day in the life and until then hang out with me some more by watching this video here and until next time peace